you know, I was always pretty much making things. Like that was kind of my thing. Like I, I remember times in my life like thinking, oh, I want to be an architect or, you know, or this or that. But by the time I got to college, I'd probably shaped 150 surfboards. So I was doing that a lot and I was painting, I was doing ceramics and building tree houses and, you know, doing a lot of kind of like art-like stuff. But the thing is, is like I never really called that stuff art. Now I know that like all of that stuff is art. You know, I was really lucky to live in West Oakland. There was just incredible artists that all kind of came together at the same time in the Bay Area. I mean, these guys like all live the dream life. It's basically they get to do art all day and surf whenever they want and travel around the world. I mean, it's like, that's it. And I got to see all of them doing that and I was just like, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. This is um, my studio here that my wife and I share. I actually kind of just finished this a few months ago. It's pretty much entirely, you know, salvage material. This is old fence boards here. These came out of a house in San Francisco, all these beams. Ugh, it rained, it's a little wet. <laughs> a lot of people call me a woodworker and I'm a little uncomfortable by that because I know a lot of woodworkers who are like real craftsmen. But yeah, I work with wood and other materials. You know, fiberglass sometimes. This is just like a bunch of drawings, you know, from over the years. So all, all my different projects I do, I always do drawings of them first. I do lots of drawings. Some of them never become projects, like this one here. This is a boat. I've built other boats. This here is from 2013. This is a project I did for Facebook. It's this giant fiberglass and wood sphere. And it has a ladder that goes up. And so you climb the ladder and then you sit in here like this. Mother brain, that's what I called it and it's just kind of like experimental social space. <laughs> I call all my things that I build, like all those three-dimensional things, I call them structures, but they're essentially sculptures. I think being an artist is a really good life, you know? I mean, it's been really good to me. Like surfing and art have saved me, you know? <laughs> and they, they really go hand in hand because pretty much make art until the surf's good, and then I surf, and I make art again. Like turning something that's just like in your mind into like a drawing on a paper to like a three-dimensional object is like this whole process of like trying to understand how is this gonna look, like what's it gonna do. I have to totally use imagination and that's really like the exciting part. I always want that type of project to function well because if it doesn't function it's kind of like, it's almost like what's the point that I'm just making like a prop. So function is important but like I also like when they borderline on non-functional because that's like really where you have to use your imagination. So it's like, you know, someone walks in to a store or a gallery and they see like one of my little cars, let's say. You have to readdress maybe like, oh, well maybe this is a car and that's not, or like maybe this is a home and that's, you have to really ask yourself questions. And that like moment of like trying to understand what it is, is like, that's the best part. inspired a lot by like I'll do one project and then I'm like oh man like that could have been so much better if I did this or that or and then it inspires like a new project yeah like ideally this probably should have come out like here and that's kind of like a fun thing as an artist is like how one thing leads to the next and then the next thing you know you've like you're at this other point that you never knew you would ever find and it's just through working you know and making things Really, I just want to live a good life and surf and hang out with friends. And I think one thing that's been good for me is that like, I've just kind of let things just take me in different directions. And I still try to like, remember that and try to do that. I think it's just important to just kind of let it, let it roll wherever it goes, you know.